Hey guys, it's Emma. Um, welcome back to another stick with me. This is last week's spread from Squirrel Prince Co. And this went up, but I didn't do um, I didn't talk through it last week. It was just recording. It was just music. Um, so this is last week's, and I love how this turned out. I love the colours in it. And this is very like springy. Um, and I am in autumn in Australia, so I've decided to use my fox and cactus, I think it's called Raining Cats and Dogs. It's really, really, really cute. Um, and I'm quite excited to use a fox and cactus kit because I haven't yet. So I've got the kit and then I've also got my um, fox and cactus um, stickers as well. So I'm excited to just have like a whole entire spread of just fox and cactus. So I think I might get started, and I think I'm going to put my bottom washi down first. Um, I do love that her kits come with a little bit of deco. I think that's really, really cute. And I love her paper as well. Yeah, super excited to be using a fox and cactus kit, because this is my first time using one of her kits, and I literally could not resist this one because it was just too 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 cute with like the little cats and stuff and the dogs and the rain and the autumn leaves and stuff it's just so fitting for this time of year in australia so super excited to use this also if you can see like these marks on my page um it's from where i had my post-it note like the ink has like pressed onto it kind of annoying but you know i'll get over that um so i think yeah let's just Let's just to get started. I think I'm going to use these and not worry about like the little checklist ones. I do prefer to have these um, for my checklist. Although this week will be more of like a white space look, which I am looking forward to because I haven't done a white space spread in a while. Everything lately has been very much like no white space, so. I'm looking forward to kind of giving it, taking like a more relaxed approach. Relaxed? I suppose you'll say relaxed. Um, approach and having some white space poking through. So, let's see how this turns out. I absolutely love the feeling of the Fox and Cactus papers as well. It feels so nice. So what have all of you guys been up to as of late? I have just recently started watching um, The Client List on Netflix and it's a pretty alright show, fairly terrible like acting in it, but other than that, I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, I have just started season two, which is probably like slightly ridiculous because I mean it's only been over like a week I've watched a whole season but anyway doesn't matter doesn't matter at all um and what else am I doing oh I ended up watching um a girl boss as well which I loved that that was a really really cool show um I really, really, really enjoyed that, and I watched, like, the whole entire season in, like, two days, which is kind of sad, considering I was also at work during the day, um, but that was a really good show, I really, really enjoyed that show. Um, I think that's about it. Ah, oh, speaking of TV shows, I'm just going to talk about TV shows, this whole entire plan with me. Did you guys watch Riverdale, the most recent one, um, where you actually find out who the killer is? Um, I, I think I can't, I don't actually, this is going to be like massive spoilers, so guys, if you haven't watched it, don't listen to what I'm about to say. Um, I actually kind of like suspected it would be someone in, um, the family that had killed him. Um kill Jason and but I mean like I didn't really expect like 
dad to have actually fully murdered his child, which that was slightly full on, if I um say. Um, she actually like, oh, you didn't kind of like see it, see it. But you did see him kill his kid, which was like a bit full on. And then he hangs himself in the end, I'm assuming, so like a secret doesn't get out. Also, slightly disgusting that um, Polly and Jason are cousins. That's like, that's weird. So weird. Like, it's weird. <laughs> if I say so myself, because that's, oh, I don't know. <laughs> um, but hey, it's fine. Does not matter. Okay. Well, I don't even, I just lost my train of thought. Completely just lost it. I'm gonna pop down my full boxes. Um, I think I might use that one up here and then I'm just gonna go like that, I think. Yeah. Let's just do that. This is seriously such a cute kit. I love it. All of Emma and Tom's drawings are just amazing. I love all of them. I have actually got another fox and cactus um, delivery on the way, which is slightly ridiculous because I feel like I just got um, a delivery and I am buying more. But, you know, whatever. It's fine. You can have as many as you like, really. I'm obsessed with them. I honestly wish I like was like buying them earlier. Because I remember like eyeing them off when I like first started getting into planning and I was like, no, 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 like, I'll just stick to kits, I'll just stick to kits. And then, I don't know, a couple of months ago, I just was like, yes, I want all of the fox and cactus in the world. And then, now, this is where we are, with me with a massive fox and cactus addiction. Which, I think, is totally fine to have a fox and cactus addic addiction, because, like... Honestly, these stickers are amazing. I love them. I've pretty much spent this whole entire video at the moment talking about fox and cactus stickers and TV shows. Fabulous. This is this is a great time. Probably like boring most of you to tears. Sorry guys, I'm very sorry. But honestly, if you haven't bought yourself some fox and cactus stickers, go and invest. I highly, highly, highly recommend. Highly recommend. They are just amazing. Absolutely amazing. And I mean, like, there's enough in these kits that if you wanted to probably do, like, a no white space, you could. Or then, like, if you wanted to do a white space, like, it's still... You're not going to have like a whole heap of stickers left over. If you know what I mean. This one hasn't gone on straight. So this is going to be real good. And then that one. There we go. Awesome. Let's, let's do the day by days. So I've got my base down. As you guys can see. This week is relatively busy. Um... More so towards the end of the week as usual. I'm going to pop down my meal sticker. As I usually do. Right down the bottom because it's, I use it to track my dinners. Um, I have a fair few TV shows going on this week. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, five TV shows but there are some that I don't need to put down so I am I'll put down the Once Upon a Time 
on Monday. I know that it gets aired on a Sunday in other parts of the world, but in Australia it's on a Monday. So once upon a time, Monday I don't have anything else planned at the moment. This is literally my Monday. I'll probably hang back at school tomorrow just to like file things away and whatnot. But other than that, that's like my Monday plan so far. Um, Cause I am filming this on Sunday. Um, I'll move on to Tuesday because easiest. Um, Tuesday, I'll put my meal sticker down. And Tuesday, I've got a couple of things going on. Nothing overly great. Um, I don't think I'm going to... I do have Jane the Virgin and Young and Hungry, but I'm not up to date on either of them. So I don't think I'm going to put a TV sticker down. I do have a um, staff meeting. So I'm going to pop down one of these. I want to put it just here oh. just there and I will just grab out a sticker for that um, I've got the girls with the purple and the blonde I think I'm just going to keep using the purple and kind of use up those and I'll put babe right here working on a laptop for the meeting um, that's it for Tuesday as well at the moment so I'll just leave that like so so let's put our next meal sticker down like so um, I have pretty little liars on Wednesday um, so I'm just going to grab my Pretty Little Liars sheet and use up those. And then I'm going to use, I think, a page flag for this. I might use the one with like the little autumn leaves. And I've also got a um, stage meeting as well. And I've also got a TV show. Well, another TV show. I've got iZombie as well. So I'm just going to pop down a TV show for iZombie. I've also got Brooklyn Nine-Nine, but I'm not up to date on that one either, so I'm not going to put it in. Um, and then let's grab Half Box. And one of our little girls on the laptop. Her in there and then I think I might pop do I want to put it up here here pop that there with then a little pretty little liars there cute love it I'm loving how this is looking I'm loving how it's feeling I just love I feel like it's like um Caress press stickers, like I just love the feel of caress press stickers too. I just rub them all day as well. Like I'm clearly just rubbing these stickers, but anyway. I'm not weird, I swear. I'm not really weird, I swear. Um Thursday I have the 100. I am gonna mark that. I've also got criminal minds, but once again I'm not up to date. Um, Thursday is also my sister's birthday, so I want to pop some things down for that. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to use a half box. I think if I put it this way, yeah. So I'm going to use a half box. And I'm pretty alright if it takes, if it's down a bit lower. Let me find my birthday stickers. Um, mm, mm, mm. here they are and I think I might personalize these um so it's got brown hair because my sister does not have blonde hair like me she has brown hair so I'm just going to use these Crayola fine line markers 
And this is super, 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 super simple to do. You literally just grab your colour. So, you've got the brown. Pick one. I might use one with a crown. Because that one's really cute. And then you just colour it in. And then it goes from blonde to brown. So much easier to like customize them like when you got the blonde hair ones. Cause you can just change the color and it doesn't even matter. And I'm unsure why I'm getting an accent. There we go. Obviously it doesn't look as neat as the um, one that I haven't colored in. But I'm going to pop that just there. And I might put a little present and a card as well. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. So that is my Thursday, my Friday. Sorry guys, it died. I just popped a page flag up here and I'm looking to see if I have a car. Um, Fox and Cactus sticker, which I don't think I do. I believe I've ordered it, but it hasn't obviously come yet. So I'm just going to use some of the traveling ones. And I think I might just use this little one here with the suitcase because she's cute. So there is that for Friday. All done. So let's move on to Saturday, Sunday. I have my weekend banner that needs to go down and then we also have um, um, details really so I'm going to pop down I'm just going to do Saturday Sunday at once well not at once but together so meal stickers obviously so I put them down every day so I'm going to put those down and then on Saturday I have a TV show. Um, actually, on Sunday as well, I'm going to pop down the washing machine just to wash because I'm going to be going away on Friday. So that's going to like knock my normal schedule around, but that's fine. Um, plans through the days. I, I know I'm driving home on Sunday, and it's also Mother's Day. So, shh, what do I want to do? Too many things. I think I might put my weekend banner um, up here. I only because it's gonna take up too much up here. How is it positioned? Okay. And like obviously, if I want to put anything in these boxes, I can. But I probably won't. I like having it like this when I do white space I like having nothing over the top of those um so like I said on Sunday it is Mother's Day and Saturday I don't know what our plans are going to be for Saturday yet so I'm just gonna pop a half box down so I can pop in plans basically so there's that and yeah like I said on Sunday it is Mother's Day so I might see if I've got like a cute little, actually what comes on the samplers? I love these little sampling ones. The sampler ones are always so, so good. Um, you guys can't even see. I want something that's like Mother's Day, which I don't think there will be. No, actually, do you know what? I'm going to use like, no, don't use a little shopping one, Emma. Don't do that. Um, I might use like the little, this little celebrate one for Mother's Day. That looks cute. Enjoying this a lot. I'm not even going to put them away just yet. Cute, cute, cute. Um, and then Sunday we drive home. I'm not going to worry about putting a page flyer or anything up there. But I think that's the week done. I just have to do my sidebar now. 
So let's grab our full box. And pop him in. And I am going to flip this upside down. Sorry guys, I know lots of you hate it like this, but honestly the easiest thing <coughs> is to do it like that. Oh my god. Oh, I thought I was going to start having a coughing fit. So there's that. And then I need to grab some habit trackers to pop in So let's find some habit trackers do, do, do. that will match our color scheme. So um, I don't know which one I want. I feel like the blue will. So I might take this blue one. that in and then um maybe that one yeah that's just uh, it kind of does and it kind of doesn't but I'm gonna put it in here anyway cool that works fine so we've got that I'll just zoom you guys in a little bit because she's a super zoomed out um got that in so I like to have a this week and a next week. So I'm going to pop my, I'm going to take both those headers and put my this weekend first. I'm just going to take a tiny bit of washi. If I can pick it up with everything on my fingers at the moment. It's going to take the washi the smallest size and pop it in here just to separate those out. Add in a this week one. And I'm just going to use the last of these and pop that in here. Well, uh, that didn't go straight at all. Oh, that came out pretty easy. Easier than I expected. There. And then next week. And then for next week, I'll just grab a box out of here. And by here, I mean my little thing of what are they called? My little folder of. Um, stickers. None of those are going to match. Yellow one? Yeah, let's go the yellow. And I think it's either just fit or it's going to just hang over, but we can trim it if it does hang over. Oh, perfect. That fits perfectly. Yay. I love when that happens. Alrighties, let's, are we like done? Am I like done? Oh my god, there was even more washi over here. Oh my gosh, I think I'm like done bar the deco. I'm not going to worry about doing um, day covers this week. I think like that looks fine. I will, however, pop on a page flag just to cover up these because they didn't really kind of go with the spread at all and I have the wrong folder uh, and I think I might use my planner gems little gem page flags because I love them and I'm thinking I might go with a blue maybe this blue I think yeah this one's cute also a real sorry you can see my sleeves Oh, that looks so cool. They kind of look like little, like, raining droplets. They look so cute. I love these. I feel like I've said so many things look so cute today. 
Whoops. Let's add in our little bits of decos. I'm going to pop a little cat up here. And I might actually have them like going the same directions and stuff that they're going on here. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at this one. Oh my gosh. It's a little sausage dog. Oh, I love that. I actually might pop that. Oh, no, there's already one down there. Let's pop him up here. That's so cute. And then we've got our little cat. Oh, this is so cool. This literally looks amazing. I'm obsessed with this. <laughs> Low-key obsessed. It looks so stinking cute. I'm so glad I picked this for this week. Because I love it. Oh my gosh. Guys, that is that is this done. I'll fill it out um, once I finish. But basically, well, once I finish recording. But basically, this is done. And I have really not many stickers left at all, which is amazing because I hate wasting stickers. So I've got two half boxes left. This is probably like my fullest page. Mostly because it's got these checklists, um, but like, there's still washi and stuff. I've only used two page flags off there. This is pretty much gone bar the washi. This one's pretty much gone bar a couple of headers and then some little ones there. And then that has gone and my full box one has obviously gone because I've used all the full boxes. So, it's so exciting. But yeah, that is this week's spread. I love it. Honestly, I love this. I love how this has turned out. I'm so excited. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!